Welcome back! This is Serial Snacks, and today I'm looking at Mo Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, and they are really incredible. This is actually my second video. The first one I made was for Minecraft 1.3.2, and this is actually for Minecraft 1.4. I was actually able to get this to work in 1.4, which is pretty incredible. Let me set the time to dawn, and I can give you an idea of what's going on. Now, I'm no expert at installing this mod, and I know a lot of people had questions on my last video. I'm probably the wrong person to ask, although I will try to help you as much as I possibly can. I don't know a lot about this mod, except that I've been able to be lucky enough to be able to get it installed on my PC. So, that said, let's just show it off a little bit. This one is a little different. In my last one, I didn't have these cool lens flare kind of things going on. I actually got it to work this time. And I've put a detailed... I wouldn't say it's incredibly detailed, but a step-by-step -step of what I did to get this to work in the description for the video. So you can get this working on 1.4. 1.4 is going to be out relatively soon after I put the post this video, I'm guessing, or it will have just come out. And, of course, it still looks just as unbelievable as it did in 1.3.2. So, really, I just wanted to show you kind of what this looks like. This is a Millennium Falcon from somebody else's schematic pack, but it's good because it shows you what some of the shadowing will look like. Now, it's Dawn. Of course, you see some chunk errors here, but it's Dawn. Now... You can see underneath the ship. Now, if I do it to noon, let's take a look at noon. Here's cool. Noon is not as impressive to me because the sun is right above, but it is impressive if you're underneath something like this. You can see the light streaming around it. It's pretty incredible. And, of course, much like nighttime, you see the torches and that sort of thing that give off the artificial light. I actually like the way the torch light looks better in this particular version than I did in my last video it actually looks better in 1.4 and I'm using new files that have been provided by the community and of course I've linked them there so if you do have questions on any of the steps of the installation look at the file that you've downloaded and try to find out who released that because I've listed who released each one and they'll probably be able to help best as to that your issues that you're having however if you end up with like a blue screen or things are too bright then it's either your video card is not supported. I know Intel GPUs have a lot of issues with making things blue. And the brightness is really caused by your light maps and your texture files. Now, I've tried to leave as detailed a description as to fix that in my video as I possibly could, but it, it may not work out perfectly for you. So let's set the time to, uh, let's see, we did noon. Let's do dusk, and I'll show you what that looks like. Oops, I didn't do that right. There's dusk, and of course you can see the light streaming in here. Just an amazing, amazing shader mod, really. I, I, I believe this actually looks better than it did before in many ways. So well, the other thing I like, too, is the underwater seems better to me than it did before. I don't know, I don't know what it is exactly, but uh, you may not be able to see the full effect on my computer, but... Pretty cool stuff. So the other cool thing is you get behind stuff like this and it just it looks so realistic. Okay, let's go back to Dawn. Come back here again. Oops. Uh, okay. Now I'm using the Faithful 32 by 32 pack and actually there was recently was released a 1.4 version of that pack so I'm using that now. You can use any pack you want, especially if you follow my optional instruction at the end of my description which allows you to modify your Minecraft.jar to allow any texture pack that doesn't have its own specific light maps to work with this particular thing. I know a lot of people in the last video were saying, oh, well, I don't really want to use that texture pack that you have. I want to use my own. Well, this is the way to do it. Now, I will use a caveat to say that if you ha your texture pack has light maps in the environment file of that texture pack, that my optional settings will not work for you because they, it will still, it will override, the texture pack will override your settings on your Minecraft jar. So, regardless, this is Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders mod in Minecraft 1.4. Pretty unbelievable and pretty happy with it. So I'm going to give you a nice look around here and you can see how amazing this mod is. If you haven't seen my 1.3.2, then I hope you've uh, learned something today and you'll do this for 1.4 because... It is a lot of fun. This is a great mod, not necessarily for playing the game so much, I guess, but for just making cinematics in the game or looking at your creations in a different kind of view with the shadowing and everything. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the cereal snacks and good luck on modding your Minecraft in 1.4 for Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders. 
Thanks for joining me.